Welcome to my travel ABC. You might question what this means. I will explain you shortly. It just means I publish every month one video what should inspire, inform or just motivate you. And today we start with the letter A, what stays in my opinion for alone. And I'm traveling since 10 months alone. And a lot of people are asking me why I'm traveling alone and not with someone. Or maybe, yeah, you have fear from traveling alone. Then this is the right video for you. I hope you enjoy this. And I would say, let's go. What means alone? Am I alone? I think I am. And this is really beautiful because it's not every time that I'm really alone. It's only now here in the mountains you find some quiet and private space. But sometimes on my journey I had difficulties to find my own time or a private space. And so it's not something bad, so I wouldn't have fear from this. Oui. <laughs> I don't care. Drink how you can. <laughs> now it's everybody. Every time somebody is holding it. Now you put. Okay. <laughs> great, great time. It's a great wine. We have, we have his support. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's our new friend. <laughs> I was not alone after some hours because uh, five other travelers came into this cabin and we joined this night there together by this call. And yeah, and now I'm in Bucharest and here I will go to a friend of a friend and I'm not alone again, even if I'm traveling alone. So I would say, yeah, traveling alone does mean you are alone. On my journey, I meet people through hitchhiking or at the places where I go. Also, I have contacts of contacts of mine who gives me a place to stay. But to be honest, it takes a lot of energy to socialize every time again and again. So it still feels I'm alone on this adventure. It's also a reason why I started this YouTube channel, because this gives me a little bit the feeling I yeah, don't go totally alone through all the experience, because a lot of people yeah, watch my videos and see what I did, at least a part of it. If we come to the pros and cons, the pros, I wouldn't do it yet because I wouldn't start it, because I wouldn't have find the right person who has time and has maybe money a little bit at least, uh, yeah, to do the same or the way of traveling how I travel. Also, I open up to people much faster because I need to, because I like to socialize and want to have, yeah, new friends. And for locals, it's easier to come in contact with me. If you are two people running around, uh, it's difficult to yeah, speak against a group than to only to one person. And yeah, <laughs> if you come to the cons, I think, yeah, one is you can uh, share your luggage. Like you have the kitchen gear, sometimes the sleeping equipment could be shared so it's not so heavy in total because you can give a little bit to each of, of you and also it's easier to feel safe if you are with two people so when I'm alone I have sometimes difficulties to feel safe and also you don't have anybody who goes through the same than you so it's not a life sharing partner who you have with you <laughs> and all decisions are on you but what motivates me is that i choose to make this adventure and that there will come times when i have friends around me and yeah life is like a wave of coming and going and don't hesitate to go